Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna be inside today and I'm gonna be making stuff up for summer grilling season. So last fall when we got our pigs um, butchered, when I got them back, I ended up with, I got 32 pounds worth of ground pork. And my intention was to take that ground pork and to turn that into other products. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. This right here, if you're wondering what this is, this is um, pig fat is what this is. This is pork fat, um, 22 pounds of it. And that's what came out of our pigs as well. So uh, what we're gonna be making today, we're making 25 pounds of smoked kielbasa or smoked sausage. Um, we're gonna make five pounds of bratwurst and then we're gonna make five pounds of pepperoni. I've never made pepperoni before, but I wanted to give it a shot. So our ground pork is a fairly lean ground pork. So we're probably gonna be adding some of the pork fat into it to make it fattier. And we'll probably end up with about 40 pounds worth of ground pork when we're done. And then I think that leaves us with an extra five pounds when we're done with that. So we'll take that extra five pounds, we're gonna turn that into to pork burgers, pork patties. And then we're gonna get this all turned into something that basically we can grill this summer. Of course, the pepperonis, that'll be something we can probably use on pizza. But I uh, just wanted to give that one a shot. That's a new one. But uh, let's go ahead. We're going to start mixing this up and I'm try to go through this fairly quickly. It's going to take about two days uh, to get this completely processed and in the freezer and ready for summer. So I took 21 pounds of ground pork and I added four pounds of pork fat to it. I've got that roughly mixed together. So now what I've got is a, um, this is an Excalibur seasoning packet. It's for smoked kielbasa sausage, 25 pounds worth. That's what I'm gonna be using today. We're just gonna start sprinkling this in and then start incorporating it into the, the meat. So the other thing we're gonna add is uh, one ounce of the cure, which is the, the pink curing salt. We're gonna be adding that. That's what came with the packet. And then I'm just gonna start mixing this together. So we've got the kielbasa seasoning all mixed into the ground pork. So now I'm just gonna put it back in the freezer and try to get it colder so the fat firms up and then we'll go ahead and we'll stuff it into the sausage casings. So now I'm gonna mix up my pepperoni that I'm gonna make. So this is uh, ground pork with a little bit of pork fat added to it. I have reground it back together again. Uh, so it's gonna be a little finer grind. And then I'm just gonna add the pepperoni seasoning. It's very dark orange. So this came with the cure salt also. So then just add in the whole packet here. Then we'll mix this up. So I've went ahead and I've mixed up five pounds of the pepperoni and I've mixed up five pounds of the bratwurst. And I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the freezer so they cool down as well. I mixed them up pretty much the exact same way I did the kielbasa. Now the pepperoni, I did run this back through the grinder one more time so it has a little bit finer grind on the pepperoni. But I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the freezer and then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna patty out the rest of the pork, we'll make pork burgers. So to make the pork burgers, I've just got a scale to be able to weigh out the meat. I've got some of these plastic freezer sheets and these things are great. Um, way better than the wax paper that you normally have between your patties in the store and you can't get them apart. Uh, I know you've all probably been there on frozen hamburgers. Uh, these things release really well. And then I've got a hamburger press here to be able to press out the patty. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm shooting for about a one third pound patty. So. Put these off to the side. We'll get them on their sheets first. That way I can wash my hands in between here. All right, so press the patty. I open that up all the way, as deep as it'll go, just to start off. And then try to position this. <clears throat> Try to fold that over. Make sure the plastic's on the outside. 
press her down. Looks like it needs to go down a little further. It's not too bad. All right, there you go, hamburger patty. Helps to get this as centered as possible when you do it. So it doesn't squeeze out the edges. So I ended up with 11 pork burgers and I think that's a pretty good way to finish off the remaining pork. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer just like this. I'm gonna let these patties firm up before I put them in a vacuum sealer and seal them up. So now that we got all our meat mixed up, um, we're gonna go ahead and start stuffing everything in the casing. So we're gonna start off with the kielbasa and we're gonna start uh, stuffing it using the sausage stuffer and some natural casings. And then we'll get our brats, uh, we'll get those made up and our prep pepperoni as well. So after we stuffed the kielbasa, we went ahead and stuffed the bratwurst, and uh, these are complete. These are just ready to go into the freezer and uh, get out whenever you want to grill some up. So the other day we did get everything stuffed into the sausage casing. So this is all the kielbasa right here. We've got two layers up here. We've got single layers back there, 25 pounds worth. And then we got five pounds of pepperoni here. And I wasn't for sure what the right casing would be for a pepperoni, but I ended up putting it in like a summer sausage casing. And this is one of the smallest ones that I could find. It's about an inch and a half diameter. So once the pepperoni's cooked, I can cut this, this casing off the pepperoni and I'll just be left with a pepperoni stick that I can slice into pepperonis. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cook these. The, the kielbasa is gonna go in the smoker. It's basically gonna end up like smoked sausage for us. And then the pepperoni, I don't think it needs the, the added smoke flavor. I'm gonna cook it in the oven and we're gonna cook these really slow. Uh, real low temperature, like 180, 200 degrees. We're gonna cook them real slow, and as soon as they get to the point when they're cooked, like around 160 degrees, we're gonna take them out so they don't get too dry. These are just jerky trays. That's kind of my go-to way of cooking in here. I can normally stack these up if it's a jerky. Can't really do that with smoked sausage or kielbasa. So last night I did get the pepperoni all cooked up and then put it in the fridge overnight. So today, um, since this is the first time making pepperoni, we're gonna go ahead Cut off the casing, see how it looks, slice it up, and give it a try. All right, casing came off all right. Boy, it smells like pepperoni. Go ahead and slice off a little bit. It's not quite as red as the pepperoni you buy in the store. That's for sure. It's a lot pinker. Let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah. Tastes like pepperoni. Of course it's a little bit bigger. It's softer than regular pepperoni, I'd say. It's not quite as firm. Not as deep a red as what you'd buy in the store, but it definitely has that pepperoni flavor. Definitely. Now I have to cook some pizza. Try this out. Yeah. Pretty good, I could just eat it as a snack. So what I plan on doing with the pepperoni is I, I really want to just get it sliced up into thin slices and then vacuum seal it into probably uh, like half pound packages 
and then we can just get that out throughout the year when we make pizza and do stuff like that. And I think that'll work out pretty good. So uh, yeah, pepperoni worked out pretty good. So it's taken me several days, but I finally got all 40 pounds of pork processed. It's all vacuum sealed and frozen. I thought I'd get it out just to show you what everything looked like when we we're done. So uh, from right here, right here backwards, this whole area right here, this is all the 25 pounds worth of smoked kielbasa that we made. And then these four packages up here, this is the five pounds of bratwurst. So this right here, that is the five pounds of pepperoni. I've got two pounds of it sliced up. I've still got three pounds here frozen that needs to be sliced. And then I've got the, th the third pound pork burgers over here. So overall, I think I'm pretty happy with the way this has all turned out. Um, I'll mention two things real quick. So the smoke kielbasa, I tried to cook that in the pit boss the first night, and I think there was some hot spots and cold spots, and this, it's a lot darker, that first batch. What I found out worked better for me is I would put the, the next two batches I put in the, in the pellet grill for a couple hours just to get that smoke flavor. And then I put it in the oven at 180 degrees. I finished it off inside. And I think it cooked more evenly in here in the oven. And everything, those last two batches just turned out beautiful. It turned out perfect. Um, now the second thing I'll mention is just my personal preference. Last year I made smoked sausage. I really like the flavor of the smoked sausage seasoning. I tried kielbasa this year, and honestly, I think I like the smoked sausage seasoning better. This still tastes good. Um, I think it'll work great cooking it out and putting it in jambalaya and whatever. But uh, I think next year I'll go back to the summer, or I'm sorry, the smoked sausage seasoning. But other than that, I think everything turned out Fantastic. I mean, now I had all that ground pork sitting in the freezer. I meant to do something with it this winter. I never got to it. But ground pork, it's just kind of a bland product that you got to do something with. And I think we've taken that and we've turned it into something useful, something that we would go and buy at the store. So this is stuff I don't have to go buy at the grocery store now. I don't have to go buy bratwurst. I don't have to go buy pepperoni. I don't have to go buy smoked sausage or kielbasa. Um, so I think that's good. That's what we're shooting for. We're shooting for trying to get where we're not buying from the grocery store, where we're trying to make everything here at home. And by making all these little individual products, we're just getting one step closer um, to being able to make everything ourselves. So um, this has taken several days. Okay, so I just want to share with you what we're doing. Just It's not really an instructional video. It's just kind of just sharing with you guys what we're doing uh, you know, with the pork and stuff that we've grown here and what we're turning it into. And, uh, yeah, I think it's all turned out great. So, um, other than that, what's going on here, um, the pole barn build is going on right now. And we have had probably two or three more days of rain delays. It has just been terrible weather. It's just raining all, every day, it seems like. So we are... We are like one day, I think one day away from getting the metal finished on the barn. So hopefully tomorrow, hopefully we'll have a good weather day tomorrow and hopefully we'll have the metal on the pole barn finished and that'll be the next video coming out. But uh, anyway, just sharing with you guys what we're doing this week. This did take up a lot of my time this week. So there wasn't a lot of video making. I've been messing <laughs> with cooking all this stuff every day, it seems like. So. Uh, I think that's it for today's video, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.